Welcome YouTube to the WWE 2K19 Modded Universe Mode, our first episode tonight of SmackDown, and it is going to be a great episode. Let's go ahead and check out the matches real quick before we get into them. Uh, up first, we've got the feuding Brock Lesnar and Walter versus Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of The New Day. Um, following that, we've got a steel cage match between Asuka and Charlotte Flair. That's going to be a good match. Um, up next, we have a tag team elimination first blood match. We've got Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio versus The Hurt Business. Um, following that, we've got a triple threat extreme rules match. We've got Lita versus Io Shirai versus Citra, which is a, a character that my wife had, has created. Um, after that, we've got the feuding AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. Then after that, we've got a triple threat false count anywhere match between The Rock, Kurt Angle, and Daniel Bryan, three of the all-time greats in the ring. And to finish off the night, we've got a no-holds-barred match between Kevin Owens and Batista. You guys are hyped. Please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more. WWE 2K19 Modded Universe Mode, as well as many, many more uh, WWE videos to come. But let's, without further ado, jump right in. And here we are tonight, <clears throat> our first match of the night. It's going to be the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar and his feuding... Uh, is, 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 the, the superstar he's feuding with, uh, Walter. They're going to see if they can coexist tonight in a tag team match against one of the most prolific tag teams in all of the WWE, The New Day. So here comes Walter down to the ring. Boy, does he look menacing. And I can't wait for you guys to see um, a one-on-one a -on -one match between these two. Imagine, in real life, a one-on-one -on -one match between Brock Lesnar and Walter. That would be insane. And of course, up next, we've got none other than The New Day. I believe they are also our SmackDown Tag Team Champions. We will see here um, during the entrance. Yes, sir. The they are our SmackDown Tag Team Champions, throwing out bootios and pancakes to the crowd. All right. Now let's get into the match. As we see Brock here tagging himself in, looked like Walter wanted to get in on the action first, but Brock tags himself in to begin the match. I honestly, even even if Brock and Walter are feuding, I don't see them losing to the New Day. It's Brock Lesnar and Walter. These guys have been known for the destruction they cause. And as we see here, Brock Lesnar looked like he was picking Kofi up for a power bomb, but Kofi Kingston turning him into a Hurricane Rana and then dropping the knee across the jaw. I would so love it the new day to show me today that I am wrong in my assumption that they are not going to beat Brock Lesnar and uh, Walter. I would love to see them win. Brock Lesnar looks like he was going for a clothesline, but Kofi ducked under, and now Brock in control on the outside of the ring. He's got to watch that count, though. It looks like we're at a count of three, maybe four. I think we're at a count of four. Yeah, that was a count of five right there. <clears throat> that was the count of five. My bad. All right, the count of six. As Kofi finally tosses Brock back into the ring. Looking to take advantage. 
of a downed beast incarnate. Irish whips him into his own corner. It looked like he might have been going for a tag team move there, but Brock, smart to the uh, smart to the tactic, wasn't going to allow it to happen. As Kofi drops him with a reverse DDT. Kofi now throwing Brock right back into the corner. Brock now leading Kofi into his corner, flips him over. Looks like, oh, Walter tags himself in. And Brock punches Walter in the face. And it looks like Brock is leaving his partner here to defend himself against one of the best tag teams in WWE history. Now this might get New Day the win. But Walter chucking Kofi to the outside. Let's see what he's got in mind here. Ooh. He went to slap Kofi across the chest. It looked like the Kofi dogged out of the way. And these two are now going back and forth on the outside of the ring. Walter sliding back in. Now being Irish whipped in the corner. And Kofi, the leap that that man just took to get... Kofi now with Walter down in the corner. Walter lifting Kofi up and slamming him down. Walter not really known for doing a whole lot of wrestling, but just being a brutal man in the ring. And now Kofi tagging in his partner, a luxury that Walter no longer has due to his own actions. <clears throat> tagging himself in, trying to get back at Brock. Brock not the man to try and get even with. Walter now tossing oof big boot across the face and a nice clothesline from hell taking Xavier Woods down uh oh what's Walter got in mind here he looked like he might be setting Xavier Woods up oh and he puts him in a reverse naked choke drops to his back and wraps his legs around him Xavier Woods might have to tap here or he might pass out as it looks like Kofi not coming to his aid, Walter now releasing the hold. And Xavier Woods flipping Walter over and now chopping Walter across the chest. That's not something you want to do. Walter is the king of the chop. So now Xavier Woods taking major control of Walter here. Something I never thought I would see. Wow, and, and now Xavier Woods stomping. Oh, I've seen this before. Kofi tags himself in to stomp on Walter, and then Xavier back in again, continuously stomping on this man, tagging in and out. And what's this? What's this? Baseball slide drop kick right into the chest. Walter's down. Kofi going for the pin. One. Oh, but Walter kicks out at one. But Kofi, looking for that boom drop. Kofi now sending Walter back into the corner. And it looks like they might be thinking tag team finisher as Kofi. There it is. Xavier Woods now, it's just elementary, just cover him. Will this be it? One, two. Oh, Walter kicks out at two. Walter not going down without a fight. As Xavier Woods now sets him up for what seems to be a finisher. Oh, nice honor roll. Now Xavier Woods looking to maybe take more advantage of him here. But I honestly think he could have pinned him. Picking Walter back up was probably not the best idea. Let's see what happens here. As he sends Walter back into the corner one more time. Could they be looking to do it again? Oh, they're looking to do it again. They're having to break out all the, all the techniques and all the moves today. Even sometimes more than once. 
trying to get Walter down. One, two, three. That is it. After Brock left, I just didn't see it happening for Walter. He fought his hardest, though. What a consummate professional. Deciding to stay in the match even though there's his partner slash enemy. Looks like Walter wants him to come down to the ring and get some more. But Brock does, uh, seems to be a bit more wary of it. And our second match of the night, as you guys can see, hanging above the ring. It's going to be a steel cage match. Here tonight, it's going to be... A, a, who I believe is our SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka. Yes, sir. SmackDown Women's Champion, Asuka, making her way to the ring. She's got a one-on-one -on -one non title match here tonight in a steel cage versus Charlotte Flair. Speaking of the queen herself, and there she is, Charlotte Flair, making her way to the ring. This should be a highly contested match. And there you see the cage is lowered into place. This will not be... Well, this won't be the last steel cage match I bet these two will have. But, this could be a very important win for Charlotte if she, get, if she gets the win over the champ tonight. Because if she does, you'd think that that would catapult her into the number one contendership for this championship. Charlotte not putting out, not pull, pulling any punches in this match so far. But neither is Asuka. She goes for that hip toss into a back kick. And you do have to escape from the cage, so submissions aren't going to be any help in this match. But you could wear your opponent down enough to the point where they no longer are able to uh, get up and stop you from escaping from the cage. Right there, Charlotte now kicking Asuka in the hamstring, trying to maybe force her to uh, be unable to walk to use that hamstring. But now Char Asuka has the freaking ankle lock locked in. It gets kicked at, kicked in the face for her trouble. Asuka now looking to throw her rump in Charlotte's face. Charlotte now snake eyes right across the top turnbuckle. Now Charlotte looking to climb the cage. Can she get out here? Looks like she's looking to find her footing, but Asuka is back to her feet. Asuka now. S slamming Charlotte down across her face. Asuka now looking to... Oh! Looked like she might have been going to, to escape the cage, but turned around and thought better of it and dropped an elbow right across Charlotte's chest. She's wanting to wear Charlotte down even more. <laughs> that might have been a bad idea though because she had the advantage of uh, having Charlotte down while she was on the cage. And now Asuka in the corner. Charlotte has that arm twisted and a nice elbow across that shoulder. Maybe trying to make it to where Asuka can't perform any of her signature submission holds. Charlotte Flair, full head of steam, smacks her face across the turnbuckle as Asuka's not there. Uh oh, Asuka, what she got in mind here? Just a hip, running hip attack. Asuka now looking to climb the ring, or climb, climb the cage rather. Uh oh, Charlotte looked like she was getting a. Ooh, nobody home with the elbow drop. Asuka now delivering a clothesline in the corner. You gotta think Asuka might might want to start thinking about trying to escape the cage instead of dropping elbows across Charlotte while she's down. I know what, there's the spear. Oh, but it was reversed by Asuka into a DDT. What's Asuka got in mind here? Oh, she missed. Charlotte with the float over into the DDT herself. This match is very highly contested. These two women both want to get a win here. 
prove to, prove it, proving to one another which one is the best of the two. Asuka now looking to climb the cage herself. Trying to find her footing. Will she do it? She's making her way. She's got her way all the way up to the top of the cage. Will she be able to get out the other side before Charlotte gets there to her? Charlotte back to her feet now. Looking to climb the cage herself. But that might be it. Oh! Asuka turning her body over the top of the cage and climbing down the other side. That is all she wrote, folks. Asuka is your winner here tonight in this steel cage match. The Empress of Tomorrow proving why she is your SmackDown Women's Championship. Or champion, rather. And up next, folks, we've got a great tag team match for you here tonight. We've got Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. Two best friends um, in another life. Now in this universe mode, a tag team looking to come up against Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin of the former Hurt Business. Now they've gone out on their own to form their own tag team. Who is going to win in this uh, tag team first blood eliminator match this could be a long match or as you guys saw the other day uh, could be a very very short match uh, when as uh, what I'm referring to is Edge and the Fiend um, when they faced each other on Raw Eddie now backing Cedric Alexander up into his own corner and the ref having to pull him apart but Eddie punching him right across the chin Shelton very upset about that. The ref not admonishing Eddie Guerrero. And Cedric Alexander looked to tie up with Eddie there, but that's not a very good idea considering Eddie is one of the best technical wrestlers in the history of wrestling. Cedric Alexander now ooh, looked, looked to kick Eddie across the face, but Eddie blocked Eddie, man, just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cedric Alexander. This could have uh, been a real dream match, honestly, if Eddie was still here with us today. I would have loved to have seen Eddie Guerrero face Cedric Alexander. Both men very, very athletic. Um, and both very good at what they do. As Eddie jumps and puts a double boot to the face of Cedric Alexander. Shelton Benjamin just watching on, kind of just letting this happen. And there's no pins in this match, though, so... Cedric has to be wary of that. Not going for any pinning predicaments. As we know Eddie, the wily veteran, he knows exactly what he's trying to do in this match tonight. Cedric Alexander now smacking Eddie's face off the announce table. It's a good way to bust somebody open for sure. I'm wondering if they'll use any weapons here tonight to try and... Uh, as Eddie smacks Cedric's face across the apron. These men are going back and forth trying to make each other bleed. Eddie now looks to yep, smack the face of Cedric Alexander across the table once more. And another time. He's really trying to get him to bleed here tonight. Maybe those ring steps will come into, uh, come into use too as well as if, if either of the men so choose. Eddie though, showing off of the crowd a bit. Maybe not the best idea in the middle of the match. Uh, you should wait to show off until after the match. When you win. If you win. Now Eddie slamming Cedric across the ring apron on his back. Eddie being thrown back into the announce table and chopped across the chest. But Eddie fires a chop right back. He goes for that Northern Light suplex one more time. Shelton now. Oh, maybe he was thinking... Maybe he get involved uh, between the two, but he got back up to the ring. As both men's tag team partners are steadily waiting for their tags. But neither of these men seem to want to go, go back into the ring. Seems like they want to use whatever they can outside the ring to cause as much damage and possibly make their opponent bleed. These constant hits across the apron cannot be good for either man. Eddie now thrown into the announce table one more time. Cedric. Ooh, what a move! 
dropping Eddie across his face and torso. Cedric standing there going for a little bit of a ball and Eddie now back to his feet. Got to be wary of those elbows as well. They could make you bleed. Everything in this match is dangerous. The moment you start bleeding is the moment you lose, so you have to be wary. And as I said, it is an elimination style match. So if one of these men does end up bleeding, their tag team partner still has a chance to make both members of the other team bleed. Eddie now, looking to punch Cedric across the face, but Cedric not having any of it. Oh, now he's catching him. Cedric firing one back of his own. Both men trading rights here. Cedric going for the... Ooh, looked like he might have been going for like a trouble in paradise there. Eddie Guerrero now. Ooh! Cedric now in full control. Spinning back fist. Eddie not allowing him to pick him up there. Nice European uppercut there. Cedric drops to a knee. He's winded. This match has been going back and forth and back and forth with both men. Not trying to give the other an inch. And uh, throwing more elbows and maybe his forearm in the face of Cedric Alexander. Alexander fighting back. Tooth and nail. Shelton Benjamin now down on the... Oh my goodness. What has Shelton got in mind? He's As Eddie throws Cedric back in the ring, Shelton gets down and starts to attack Eddie. Shelton, though, back to the ring, maybe thinking he can get the tag from his partner here if he goes to the, back to his corner. Eddie getting back to his feet. I guess Shelton wanting to make sure he gets back to his feet. Alexander would drop to the DDT. That could have been it right there. As we, like I said, as we saw on Monday, Edge dropped uh, the feed with one DDT, and that was all, all she wrote. Eddie now. Looked to go for a drop kick in the corner, but Cedric smacked him out of the sky. Both of these men very technically able. Cedric now, what's he got in mind here? So he's setting Eddie up on the road, but Eddie not letting him get in a word in edgewise there. Or move in edgewise, rather. <clears throat> What's this? Cedric dropping Eddie across the apron and causing him to bust wide open. Rey Mysterio now in the ring. <clears throat> he's got two superstars to try, to, try and uh, bust open himself. Can he do it? Or will Team Eddie Guerrero, will they go out, go down here tonight? Shelton looking for these splashes in the corner, but Ray not having any of it. This is our second handicap-esque match of the night. Both matches started out as tag team matches. Ray, not really letting Shelton get a move in edgewise here. Pretty smart, pretty veteran move on Ray's part. But will that last? Will Ray be able to continue to, to dodge these moves by Shelton Benjamin? Yeah, he may not have been wrestling as long, but Shelton is still a veteran of uh, wrestling. I mean, I don't know. He's almost as old as Ray. Both of these men have been wrestling for almost their entire lives. Ray professionally for, much, uh, for a lot longer than Shelton, I would say. It's Ray now setting him up. 619. What's next? Looks like Ray's going to the top rope. Is he going to hit it? Is he going to do it? Nope. He drops down. He just jumps on down. Maybe, maybe thinking better of it. But Shelton now firing back. Trying to keep Ray down. Ray going for that springboard bulldog. That could have 
that could have easily busted Shelton open, especially after that 619. It looked like he was going for the DDT. But Shelton now blocking, picking Ray up, and slamming him down on his arm. Ooh, just the meat of the face. It was funny, you know, uh, this past week on Raw, I made the point to say it's going to be hard to get the Fiend to... Oh, he, he grabbed a weapon. He grabbed the barbed wire... The barbed wire 2x4. As you can see, he's just swinging it. Cedric, he can still be busted open even if he's not a member of the match. So he needs to be careful. But Shelton now is slamming that barbed wire... Fiend rage just walked through the barbed wire. did not care. Right now, trying so desperately to get one of these men to bleed, punching and kicking them right across the forehead. Cedric Alexander, what could he have in mind? He turns Ray around. Both men now just attacking Ray Mysterio. Shelton now, throwing him back into the ring, bringing it back into a, more of a one on one situation. Shelton hitting a super kick out of nowhere. Ray not having any of it. And look at this. Ray setting him up one more time. Will he hit it? Will this do it? 619, but it doesn't bust Shelton open. Ray now. Looked like he might have been thinking frog splash again, but decided better of it. And he's going back up to the top. What's he got in mind? He's telling Shelton to stand up. He's calling for it. Ooh, nice Hurricane Rana. I know what's Ray got in mind here. Shelton. Besides, he doesn't want to even find out. Benjamin now spinning Ray around. Throwing him back into the corner. Ooh! Ray caught him with an elbow and caused him to bleed. Ray could come back here. Cedric pop back, pops back to his feet. Throws Ray into the... Oh, that was crazy. Shelton taken out like that. What's Ray got in mind here for Cedric Alexander? He looks like he's setting him up for a tornado. DDT! And Ray Mysterio brings it back. From a 1-2 to two deficit, he brings it back for his team, and he gets the W for Team Eddie Guerrero. What a match. Eddie Guerrero make, makes his way back out to the ring to support his friend, Rey Mysterio. Man. And up next, we've got the Triple Threat Extreme Rules Women's Match. We've got, as you guys can see here, Lita is making her in-ring return to SmackDown and to the WWE. Here she is, ready to go. Former member of Team Extreme, former manager and girlfriend to Edge, and one of the best female wrestlers in the history of this company. Running down to the ring, ready to start this match. And up next... We've got a new star on the scene. A created wrestler by my wife. She created the wrestler, I created the entrance and move set. And she decided to, what her name was going to be. I said, babe, I'm starting a new universe mode. I need a crazy ass creator wrestler. One man, one woman. You guys will see the man later on. Not tonight. Not in this this video. But you will meet him soon. But for tonight, we've got the awe-inspiring, the creepy Citra. Makes her way to us here tonight from every man's nightmare. And rounding out this triple threat match, we've got woman, one of the greatest women rest, female wrestlers in NXT history, Io Shirai. Definitely one of the most entertaining. 
Um, and she brings a lot of fire to this roster. So who will win here tonight in this Extreme Rules capacity? Will it be EO, Citra, or Lita? Let's find out now as the bell rings. Lita walking straight up to EO and just smashing her. Citra, though, nice dirty deeds. She goes for the pin immediately. And EO, I guess, was not worried at all that that would be it because she didn't even try to break the pin apart. Citra much faster than EO it seems as she hits the doctor teeth and now backs Lita into the corner Lita now with a nice shoulder block across the abdomen these two women going back and forth as EO kinda just takes it easy over here now EO kicking center right across the face in the chest area Goes for a handspring moonsault. What a move. There's some of the innovative offense that Eo brings to this division. As Lita now starts to pound away by, at the back of Citra's head. Ooh, what a clothesline. Looks like Citra was going for a back heel kick there, but Eo Shirai dodges out of the way, and now she slams her on her back. Irish whip into the corner. Eo, another handspring into a backsplash. What they now refer to as a coffin splash. Citra, though, not going to stay down long. Goes for another running clothesline with some heat behind it. I'm going to call that the heat seeking clothesline. Six got one right here. RKO! Out of nowhere. Now she turns her attention to Lita. Picks her up in the carry position. And down with the throw across the top rope. Switch her now. Going to the outside of the ring. Maybe thinking about grabbing a weapon. What will she get? She gets a kendo stick. Brings it into the ring. But Lita punches her right across the head with her troubles. Now the kendo stick is in the ring. Any of the women can use it as this is an extreme rules match. As Lita goes for the twist of fate on Io Shirai. And gets kicked in the back of the head. What has Citra got in mind here? Nice <coughs> jumping, twisting leg drop right across the throat of Lita and a running knee strike. That could be it. That could be it. One, two. Oh, Lita didn't even get a two count. Showing her tenacity here tonight. Io Shirai. Ooh, block the kick and elbow down across the knee of Citra. Trying to take that running knee strike out of Citra's offense. Citra <laughs> hits her with another one. And what's this? Oh my goodness, the Rainmaker DDT out of nowhere. That could be it. One, two, Lita kicked out. Lita now flips Citra onto her back. Citra, what she got in mind here? Ooh, STO dropping Lita down across her face. Leo Shirai now punching, getting Citra back into that corner. Citra now looking for a one leg Boston Crab. Pull that the half crab. Now Io easily gets right on out of that. Lita now dropping Io Shirai with a heavy, heavy Hurricane Rana. What's Lita got in mind here? Sets her up for it. DDT Impaler style. That could be all she wrote. Since you're now back to her feet on the outside. One, two. Three, Lita picks up the W. Citra fell just short of breaking up the pin. I think Lita might have a bit of an issue with Citra in the future, though. Citra does not look, did not look happy after missing that uh, pin, pin attempt breakup. But Lita, big story of the night, picking up the W. And what a glorious W that was.
AJ Styles in the ring now. Looks to be set to go one on one with Randy Orton. But Randy Orton sneaks up out of the crowd from behind and smacks AJ across the back. The ref having to admonish Orton, telling him to back off so this match can get started. And there's the bell. AJ Styles, Randy Orton set to go one on one here on SmackDown tonight. Orton came in here tonight with a full head of steam. Looks to take advantage of it, but AJ, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, is going to be a bit harder to take out than that. Both of these men have had storied careers. And now, tonight, we get to see them intertwine one more time. Two men in the past couple of weeks have decided that they just do not like each other. And as we know, if Orton doesn't like somebody, he's going to let them know about it. And that's how, that's what's led us to this tonight. These two men going one-on-one. -on -one. Orton dropping AJ on his neck. But AJ doing the same to Orton in a different fashion. Now kicking him across the back. Orton back to his feet though. Not going to be intimidated by AJ Styles. AJ now. Looked for maybe a jumping clothesline but missed wildly. Because now Orton taking advantage. Smashing AJ's face across the ring post. AJ now. Put Orton in a bit of a wrist lock. Orton getting up out of it. Some hefty punches to the midsection. Orton, vintage backbreaker from Orton. This could be it. Orton could be single before the end. Is now he's got that leg draped. DDT. Orton so cold, so calculating. Could be looking to put AJ away very soon. AJ getting back to his feet with that European upper European style uppercut and a nice power bomb on Randy Orton. AJ, this is not the time, dude. Not the time to be showing off and in such a worse for wear way right now. Pele kick. AJ lands that Pele kick flush, and that could be a sign of him making a comeback as he goes for the calf crusher. AJ too close to the ropes. Ref calling for a rope break. What's AJ got in mind here? Stopping across the elbow region. And now going for a quick pin. One. Man, I was going to say Randy has not had enough damage done to him for you to be pinning him like that, man. Are you trying to catch him off guard or something? What's AJ got in mind out here now? Looks like he's calling for Orton to stand up. Will he land it? Phenomenal forearm knocking Orton down and busting him wide open. AJ now picking Orton back up. What a strange... Oh, Orton with an RKO out of nowhere. Busting AJ wide open. AJ with his hand under the ropes could not be pinned. So Orton got the line here. Looks like he's going to drape him across the top ropes in a glorious fashion. Orton now. I feel like you might have been thinking about working the knee. AJ Styles, though, not having any of it. And he now rolling Orton over. Stomping across the midsection. Yeah, I think or AJ, if he's going to go for that cap throw, he might want to start working the legs a little bit more. Put Orton now punching Styles across the face. Taunting him a little bit. Did not expect this match to get so bloody so fast. As Orton now brings AJ back to his feet. AJ now throwing Orton outside the ring, punching him across the face, knocking him down to the floor. AJ thinking better of it, throwing Orton back into the ring. 
Could be looking for maybe another phenomenal forearm. Who knows what he's got in mind here. Ooh. Looks like he got hung up on Randy's shoulders and Randy just dropped him on his face. And now, knee to the back. What's Orton got in mind here? Oh, it's, it's the stomps. Orton stomping on every appendage. Making sure AJ feels every single boot. One, two. AJ kicks out of two. Orton now probably thinking, what's he got to do? To pin AJ Styles, one of the greatest wrestlers of a generation. Some may call him the Shawn Michaels of the current generation. And Orton, another RKO! What could that be at one, two, three? Randy Orton picks up the W on AJ Styles. See that draping DDT, vintage Randy Orton, AJ Styles rolling him up for the calf crusher, but he had his foot under the rope, followed by a beautiful, phenomenal forearm, and that was the first of two RKOs in this match. Randy stomping away at AJ Styles. What a highlight-filled match this was. Both men giving it their all. As you can see there, Orton walking away with the victory here tonight. And folks, here is our co-main event for the evening. I'm not sure why The Rock has <laughs> his, uh, Brock Lesnar's Titan Tron, but here we have The Rock, the first of three men in this fatal or this triple threat match here tonight. This falls count anywhere. We've got Dwayne The Rock Johnson, we've got Kurt Angle, and we've got Brian Danielson, a.k.a. Daniel Bryan. And there you see the Olympic gold medalist, the wrestling machine, Kurt Angle, looking better than he ever has. And your United States Champion. One of the greatest wrestlers of his generation. Daniel Ryan. Yes, yes, yes indeed. Kurt Angle and Daniel Bryan, all three men. You gotta imagine if Rock or Kurt Angle pick up the victory here tonight, especially if they pin Daniel Bryan, will they have a shot at his United States Championship at the upcoming pay per view? Or maybe even one of these weeks before the pay per view. We shall find out. Almost paid for it there as Daniel Bryan went up and noticed him. Both Kurt and The Rock kind of just tag teaming Daniel Bryan right now. It's probably a good idea considering he's the United States Champion. Looked like he was going for maybe a running, diving knee strike, but he missed. Kurt not letting Daniel Bryan get the better of him. But Bryan answering back with some reversals of his own. Like he's gonna suplex Rock back into the ring. Kurt now stomping in the corner. It's way too early for this one to be over. Kurt Angle now clotheslining Daniel back outside the ring. And remember, this is false count anywhere, so if, if Kurt wants to go for the pin outside on Daniel Bryan, that is completely legal. As well as there are no disqualifications or count outs. Three men can tear it up in the in the back if they want to. They can tear it up in the crowd if they want to. But my thing, what I think is going to happen is they're going to try to confine most of this match to the ring. Three men 
very much ring generals in their time. Dan O'Brien and, and, and Kurt Angle, both math, math technicians. It's the Rock and Dan O'Brien tag team Kurt Angle there. Probably the biggest threat in this match, if you, if you ask me. That's the Rock now. Hit him with the Russian leg sweep. And O'Brien not backing down though, being the smaller man in this match. You got you, 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 you got to give it to him. Man's got guts. Man's got guts, and he's got the United States Championship. Kurt Angle looks like he's just trying to show off mostly in this match. Now Kurt getting in there and hitting Daniel with another Russian leg sweep. The Rock now getting punched in the face. Dropping Angle across his knee. Ooh, the Rock hits Kurt Angle with his patented spine buster. That could be all she wrote. And look at that, the Rock bottom out of nowhere. And it goes for pin one, two. Daniel Bryan kicks out at two. The Rock now showing off a little bit after hitting that rock bottom spine buster combo. Kurt Angle not impressed. The rock wants a little more control of this ring though. So he can taunt a little more, make his make his opponents feel a little more inferior. Daniel Bryan still hasn't been stirred since kicking out of that uh, that pin attempt. I don't wonder if maybe, oh, what's Kurt got in mind? Ooh, it looked like he could have been going for those three German suplexes, but The Rock not having any of it. Daniel Bryan, though, drops over, getting The Rock across that second rope. What's he got in mind here? Drop kick to the back of the, the, the chest. Well, not the back of the chest. <laughs> the, the shoulder area, draping The Rock's throat across that, uh, that rope there. Could not have been a very uncomfortable situation. Because now the Rock picking Brian up in the electric chair and slamming him down. Looks like the Rock might have another Rock bottom in mind here, but Daniel Bryan escaping from it, bringing the Rock down. This match has been very, very back and forth heavy. All three men wanting to get a. Uh, Getting a W here on the first episode of SmackDown. And Kurt Angle going for the pin on the rock. One. The rock kicks out right at one. Daniel Bryan finally back to his feet. Kurt Angle gets a nice wrestling takedown off the shoot. And another takedown into a bit of a, a knee lock, kind of. Wrenching back on that knee and that ankle. Maybe trying to soften Daniel Bryan up for the, the potential ankle lock. If, if, if Kurt picks your ankle, that could be it. That could be all she wrote. Now Kurt, again, looking for maybe those three German suplexes that he's known for. Daniel Bryan getting out of it at the last second. Now Daniel going for a German of his own on the rock. And he's got him in the pin predicament. One, two. Daniel Bryan with a two. Now Daniel... Is he going? He's going for it. The yes lock is locked in on Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But The Rock gets out of it. Could, could, could the damage be done, though, is the question. The Rock kind of worse for wear right here. Getting pounded by Kurt Angle, too. Kurt now with a DDT on Daniel Bryan. Middle, middle of the ring. Goes for the pin. One. Two. Oh, but Daniel Bryan at two and a quarter. Kicks out. Kurt Angle now going for a bit of a rest hold, maybe trying to gain more control of this match, more of the momentum. He goes for another pin. 
Wow, Kurt Angle off of the neck wrench gets the double. Did not see that coming. And I'm getting word from RGM now. It looks like Kurt Angle will have a match against Daniel Bryan next week for that United States Championship. You saw it here first, folks. Kurt Angle beating both Daniel Bryan and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And now has a United States Championship shot next week on SmackDown. And here we are, our main event of the evening. We've got Kevin Owens, Mr. Money in the Bank. Not bringing his briefcase down with him tonight. Um, as this is a no-holds-barred match, and he doesn't want to give his opponent any extra incentive or weapon to use against him. And his opponent, one of the most decorated champions in the WWE's history, and now a big time player in Hollywood, the Animal Batista. Batista looking fantastic here tonight. He says, I'm back and I want the WWE Championship. And a man who's got a guaranteed shot at either the WWE, AEW, or World Heavyweight Championship is that man right there, Kevin Owens. As Batista just picks him up and drops him to start this no holds barred match. Batista just chucking Kevin Owens around the ring, and you don't get to say that very often. Not, not very many people can do what Batista started this match doing to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens going to possibly rely on that pop-up powerbomb to put Batista away here tonight. Batista having a huge powerbomb of his own in the, in the, in, <laughs> with the Batista bomb. Whose bomb will win this match? Batista could also use a spear or a spine buster. I'm pretty sure Kevin Owens can use a muscle buster. This could go either way. Both men highly physical when it comes to these styles of matches. This match has me on the edge of my seat right now. And as I said, this is your main event of the evening. If you have enjoyed the show, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you made it this far, thank you. Let's try to get this, uh, this video up to five likes. We can do that i will be eternally grateful so now it looks like kevin owens is kind of just stuck in the corner now kevin turned back around finally and launched a drop kick onto batista but batista not staying down long and as i as i stated before this match is no holds barred so they could do whatever they want to beat the other man as kevin Dropping himself down across Batista's chest in a senton, otherwise known as the Kenton Bomb, I'm pretty sure. Well, that, that was Mr. Kennedy uh, finisher, wasn't it? That and the, uh, the Green Bay Plunge. Kevin Owens, elbow across the face of Batista. Ooh. And he puts him in a and an STF, John Cena has used this move quite often uh, in matches against Batista, and it has been effective in the past. But Batista, not letting it happen here tonight. Kevin Owens, what's he got in mind here? Ripcord clothesline, taking Batista down. Will that be it? One, two. Batista kicks out at two. Owens thinking to himself, what's he got to do to put Batista away? I stated earlier in this match, he could have to hit him with that pop-up powerbomb, but Owens back to the top rope. Seems to be calling Batista to get to his feet. 
And he, oh, he went for another one of those drop kicks. Batista now flexing as Owens crawls to the corner. And now Batista driving his knee across the throat of Kevin Owens. And he's just going to pick him up and toss him yet again. You don't see this kind of action. Um, you, don't, you don't really see Owens get manhandled like this any other time. But that spine buster, that might put this one away. And if that didn't, what's coming next surely will. As Batista looks for the Batista bomb. Will he hit it? Batista bomb! Right in the center of the ring. Now he goes for the pin. Ref one, two. Oh my goodness, Kevin Owens kicked out of the Batista bomb at two. Saying, Batista, that is not how I'm going out tonight. Props to Batista, though, for getting that Batista bomb off. I thought surely Kevin would figure a way out of it, but obviously I was wrong. Because now Batista, I just whipped in the corner, runs out of the way of a drop kick. And now, I just whip again. Another drop kick has been dodged. Owens, you, you got to imagine, is going to stop trying to go for those drop kicks. And here he goes for a pin. One, two. Owens really trying to catch Batista off guard with this fast paced offense that he's got going on right now. A true flurry for sure. Kevin is also getting kind of winded himself. Batista clotheslining Kevin back into the corner. Batista's trying to play this smart. You can tell he's kind of just slowly moving out of the way of Kevin's moves, making it to where he can't be hit, making Kevin waste his stamina, and thus making him a bit easier for Batista to, to, to beat up, to win. Batista now slamming Kevin's face into the corner. Lots of reverses here. Batista goes for the big boot across Kevin's chin. What's he got in line here? Double axe handle across the back. Batista now going for another pin. One, two. And that was not to be. As Kevin kicks out at two and a half. Batista now thinking, what do I have to do? Looks to be going for the spear, but Kevin reversing it into the DDT and busting the animal wide open. What's Kevin got in mind here now? Looks like he might have been going for the uh, the power bomb there, possibly. Kevin now dropping Batista across his back with the leg sweep. Men not giving one another an inch at this point. Back and forth, the momentum swings like a pendulum. <clears throat> one man can't get the, can't really get the. Oh, is Batista gonna do it again? Another Batista bomb out of nowhere. Now Batista's just got to make the pin, and that could be it. One, two. The ref kind of looked like he just stood up. It looked like he just stood up. It didn't. I didn't see Kevin really kick out there. The ref might be in cahoots with Kevin Owens here tonight. It's Kevin now looking to do, uh, looking to smash Batista's face open even more with that turnbuckle. Batista's bleeding profusely from his forehead right now. Probably making it hard to see. Kevin setting him up. Tombstone pile driver out of nowhere. And now Kevin with the pin. One, two. Kevin still thinking to himself, how do I put away the animal? And as he drops him with another centon across the chest. Kevin could be looking for it here. Possibly thinking pop-up powerbomb time. That could do it. Oh, ripcord clothesline instead as he goes for another pin. 
One, two, three. That'll do it. Kevin Owens beats the Animal Batista. What a back and forth match. Batista hitting two Batista bombs. Looked like the ref might have been in cahoots with Kevin Owens there because it looked like he stopped his count after the second one before Kevin even kicked out. What a story we have to tell here. There will be more to this story as well as the week in the weeks to come. I don't think these men are done with each other. Alrighty. And that is the end of our show here tonight for our SmackDown WWE 2K19 Universe Mode modded. One thing we like to do here at the end of each show, though, is we like to check the news and see what happens. So we've got the animosity uh, between enemies is on the verge of boiling over after an aggressive exchange between them. Brock Lesnar tried giving his rival a taste of his own medicine by blind tagging himself into the match, but Walter responded with an attack and left him in a, alone in the ring. We saw what happened there. That is not exactly what happened. It's been reversed. Randy Orton had made his intentions clear after blindsiding AJ Styles before the match could start. He wants to hurt his opponent and will attack him when he least expects it. Wouldn't expect anything less from the Viper. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please be sure to smash that like button, like I said before, as well as subscribing for more WWE and wrestling videos in general. Um, and I, will, I will see you guys in the next episode.